Hello everybody, it's Julian here again. I'm here to do another movie review. Um, I want to apologize first to everybody first. Um, yesterday, I had uploaded a movie review of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And it had um, the Raiders of the Lost Ark theme playing in the background. And that that violated some sort of copyright issue with YouTube, so it got muted. So if you guys try to watch that video and you didn't hear me, you saw my voice, saw my face, but you didn't hear any, 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 any uh, sound from it, it's because that's what happened, you know? My um, my what's call it? My um, video was was muted because you know I cop you know I infringed some copyright. I thought I I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal because like I said, all my other videos have a ton of music on it. But whatever, I had to pick this fucking generic music that's playing here. It's called royalty free action music, seven tracks. So hopefully you know I won't get pulled for that. Um, rather review Raiders of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, maybe even Kingdom of Crystal Skull. As individual videos, I'm just gonna do one trilogy video, you know. I mean, there's, I mean, what's more to say about Indiana Jones? Um, yeah, um, let me show you the let me show you the box set first. So this is the box set here. It comes in this little slipcase here, right here. See Indiana Jones, right? Like that looks pretty cool, right? Empty, empty box. And so here is the Indiana Jones, the digi book of it. Of the set, see, they got a good, good, good um, cover there. That's the man right there, Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones. The first page here is Raiders of the Lost Ark. See, has a really good drawing of Harrison Ford, Karen Allen as Marion Ravenwood, Paul Freeman as Belloc. Here's the arc right here, the original um, poster. Here is the, the blue ray. The gist of Raiders of the Lost Ark is uh, Indiana Jones is called upon, um, he's an archaeological professor and he gets called upon to go after the Ark of the Covenant. Um, it's a solid film, basically. Now, I, know, I, I, mean, I know most people probably already seen it, so I'm not going to get too much into the, into the synopsis of the, of the um, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't want to give much of a synopsis, that's really about it. He goes after the, um, the Ark of the Covenant and he has to battle against Nazis before, you know, he has to battle against Nazis and try to get him get the Ark of the Covenant before Nazis came out of Egypt. Um, this is the movie that started all, you know, it is one of the best movies ever made. It has a great soundtrack, a great theme, really powerful theme. It is not, it is not, however, my favorite of the, of the series. This is probably my second favorite, but, you know, it is the movie that, that started off, it was nominated for Best Picture. Um, yeah, you know, it's a really solid film, it's a really good film. Um, it's full of mystery and it has a good ending. And it has a great, great locale. You know, different locations. You know, it starts off in the jungle, goes back to civilization, goes to the desert, Egypt. You know, um, through ships and you know, to mysterious islands and stuff. It is a really solid film. That's real Lost Ark. You know, with Karen Allen, Marion Rainwood, and Paul Freeman as uh, Belloc. <laughs> Next one we have here is my personal favorite of the bunch. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. I remember seeing this as a little kid when I was maybe about three and a half, four, maybe five years old. It was shown on HBO. Now back then, in 85, 86, HBO wasn't the cool channel it was how it is now. And it basically was like one of those channels that started like around five o'clock and, and ended around midnight. And I remember that Temple of Doom was on all the time. Temple of Doom and Goonies, those are the two movies that are on all the time. And then when I watched it, I was looking at loving it. You know, I used to love a uh, this is just a great, this is a great story. You know, you know, um, the synopsis of Temple of Doom is that Indiana Jones um, starts off with him in Shanghai. He's doing some under, 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 um, underhand dealing with this um, Chinese gangster. The deal goes down. He escapes from them. He's trying to escape the airplane. Uh, eventually, the airplane crashes, and he's able to escape with um, with um, Willy Scott, played by um, Kate Cash out here, and and short round played by Jonathan Kihei Kwan, I think his name is. And um, he eventually he eventually lands in India, and in this Indian village who's having a streak of bad luck, their crops die, their animals turn to dust, they get one of those sacred rocks they call a Shiva Linga, which is right here, stolen, and um, he has to go out to not only did they get that stolen, but also had the children stolen too. What I loved about Indiana Jones and Temple do that's dark. It's a dark, harsh film. It does have some humorous moments in it, but it's for the most part a very, very dark film. Um, it's a sad movie too because it's kind of a sad movie too because you no, know, it's, it's it's not like Indiana Jones wanted to do this. It was more like he was just dressed into his venture, which makes it interesting because um because like um 
you know, it's like one of those adventures that he had no choice. All the other ones, he had, he had kind of like a big choice going after. Um, what's best about this one too, right? This um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom film, right? Is that it's the only Indiana Jones adventure where he actually accomplishes his goal. He gets the artifact, he saves the kids. All the other ones, not so much. Um, this there is no poster there. And uh, this the music does sound like the Inception though. But this is the poster there. There's the blue right there too. And yep, next one here. Now, after Temple of Doom came out of theaters, Spielberg and George Lucas were not very happy with it. They thought it was too dark, they thought it was too weird, too violent. So they went back to the safe, safe and simpler uh, Indiana Jones. Rather than go after, you know, some weird Hindu artifact, they went back to the Western religion. So this time it's going after Christian artifact, not Jewish, Christian artifact, the Holy Grail, which is right here. The Cup of Christ, um, and that's and that's Harrison Ford again. This time, though, Sean Connery makes an appearance in this film as um, Henry Jones Sr. He's uh, Indy's dad. Then we have um, Dodie. I forget her name. I forget her full name. She's the um, kind of good girl, bad girl type uh, um, type of a uh, character. This one here, um, Indiana Jones: Last Crusade, used to be my favorite of the lot, but as I got older, it's kind of become my least favorite. Aside from Chris, uh, Crystal Skull, because like it's just such a safe movie, you know. It's just a, you know, it's it's just a, to me it's, it seems more like a remake of Raiders of the Lost Ark because you know they want to capture that feeling. But what I liked about Temple of Doom that was different, you know, it was Indiana Jones on a different adventure. Here it seems more, it's more like rehashing the same thing. That's why I um, you know I, re I re watched it last night, and out of the three, it's the slowest movie one. It just takes fucking forever for them to get the stuff done. Um, it does have its moments, though. You know, it does have the. Uh, to me, the uh, the booby traps in this movie are far, the far by far the best. Especially though, the path of God. Holy shit, that's been, always been the scariest part, scariest booby trap I've seen in any Indiana Jones movie. Um, it has a, it has a good soundtrack. You know, um, Temple of Doom is better, I think. But Indiana Jones and Last Crusade is pretty is a good movie. Um, I saw it in the theater when I was a little kid at the Cinema Dome, right, the same place I wanted to, I wanted to go see Braveheart at. But yeah, that's Indiana Jones and Last Crusade. Let me show you briefly uh, Crystal Skull. That's Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones. Let's not talk much about that, okay? Anyways, let me turn this around and we talk more about these films. The Indiana Jones trilogy or quadrilogy now, right? It's probably the best set of movies that I have. Um, it's the strongest trilogy of all of them. I would say it's probably stronger than Star Wars at this point. Star Wars was the strongest trilogy, but they lost a lot of their funding because of the prequels. I like the prequels, but the prequels aren't the best films ever made. Um, Lord of the Rings 2 is another one, so it's a very strong um, trilogy, but because of The Hobbit, I'm not a big fan of The Hobbit, it kind of lost a lot of its footing there. I would say Indiana Jones is probably the strongest trilogy we have out there. Um, the only one that kind of comes close to it is the Dark Knight trilogy, but that's another debate for the day. Um, yeah, so this this is the Indiana yeah, Jones the Complete Adventures. They are great movies. I highly suggest that you guys watch them. I highly suggest that you guys own them because they're totally worth owning and they're totally worth um, just you know watching because they're classic. This is Spielberg at his absolute best. This is what Spielberg does. You know, this is what George Lucas does. This is where George Lucas shines. Let him do the story. Let him produce. Keep him away from the director's chair. Keep him away from the screenwriting um, the screenwriter's chair. Let him write the story. Let him come up with the with the bullet points. Then you have a real writer. You have a real director take it over there because Spielberg can do action and he can he can direct very well. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this this remake of my video here. It is um, if you guys like my video, please thumbs up. If you guys like my channel, please subscribe. And once again, this the, is this the Indiana Jones Complete Adventures Collection Blu-ray. I hope you guys enjoyed this music. It's not Indiana Jones music, it's royalty-free action music track. So hopefully there's no problem there. Anyways, guys, have a good day.